What's up guys, it's dclblogger.com. In this video, I wanted to go through a bit of an analysis on the 14 lands that sold sometime yesterday at a whopping 1.6 million mana, guys. Crazy amount for an estate. But um, some surprising things, some not so surprising things. Just wanted to really share my thoughts on this whole thing. So the lands in question, or the ones that were sold, were the lands that appeared connecting. So it was in three by three. So from this corner to this corner, which included one, two, three, three parcels connected to a Genesis Plaza, um, two connected to this district here, Central Business District, and I think a few more over here. So this one, this one, and this one. Uh, yep, that one, this one as well. Yep, that one too. So it was like a line of parcels here and a three by three. So altogether 14 parcels, right? So this, 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 oh, you get the idea. Down, down, down. So those 14 <clears throat> parcels were sold for a whopping 1.6 million guys. And the ones closest to Genesis Plaza obviously priced a lot more higher, 300,000 mana they were sold for. And um, this one over here, 300,000 mana, this one was sold for as well. These one was sold for 100,000 mana. So the ones connected to districts, these were sold for about 100,000 mana. Now the question on everyone's mind, first of all, was this sale legit? And um, a lot of people question that with Decentraland. And I get it, like people wonder why and how people are dumping like tens of thousands of dollars sometimes hundreds of thousands of dollars in these little pixels of virtual land like it's astonishing for people to kind of understand and fathom right it's a big number to put on a very speculative idea at the moment yes there's a lot of momentum but a lot of it is speculative and um, a lot of it needs to be fine-tuned, which I'm very confident it will. But in the eyes of new investors or skeptic investors, like a lot of people will see this as being maybe the seller, the original seller, buying it from another account and bumping the price up to show people that these lands are worth a lot more, right? So now when the guy puts it back for sale, then you're going to see that he might list it for <coughs> a bit lower than this price. So it will look like a good deal for people potential prospects that is um, um, that might have been the case but in my research that I've done it's probably I'm very confident it's not the case I want to show you why tell you why right so first of all I'm going to cover the reasons why this is probably a very legit deal and second I'm going to go through why this person probably paid this much the, the first part is I was in negotiation with this three by three property all right so these this three by three from this corner to this corner was owned by a guy called Seth. Um, this guy over here, I emailed him. I was actually in negotiation and he wanted four BTC for it, right? Four Bitcoin. It ended up selling for like 13, 14 Bitcoin, which, you know, he would have been really happy with now. But I was in negotiation, no, negotiation with him and he never once mentioned that there were these four parcels as well that were part of the deal. He only mentioned these these three by three, right? And those were the only parcels that he owned in that area. Now, these other four are actually owned by another seller. So the buyer actually bought collections of parcels that were owned by multiple sellers. So it wasn't just one wallet that was being bought from, it was multiple wallets that was being brought from. So that coupled with me being in negotiation with the guy and him, you know, being pretty fairly priced with it and him being open to negotiation um, kind of gives me the impression that it was a legit deal, right? And um, I'm going to go through why I think people bought, uh, the, the buyer bought this for um, this amount of money. Now, I have always said, and I am going to firmly believe that estates are going to be a big deal in Decentraland. Getting, buying these small pixels of 10 by 10 meter land, I mean, they may sound, seem appealing, and there's plenty of these small pixels, right? There's literally 35,000 pixels or parcels of land available for sale. A lot of supply, a lot, a lot, a lot of supply. Still another 10,000 or so land that needs to be auctioned off. But estates, now there's not that many estates. There's about... I think 100, maybe 200 estates at the moment. And out of those estates, there's not that many. Um, as people buy estates, 
One, they're very high priced. So people buying them are very serious investors. And those serious investors usually have, you know, a long term hold plan or a plan to develop something. So they're more interested in actually doing something with the land. So the people buying these estates are most likely going to remove those estates from supply. So you compare 35,000 pixels, um, small lands, to about 100 or 200 or so estates. And when people start to buy those estates, there's not going to be that many estates available for sale. So that, like you can see that there's this estate, you know, there's like this one over here, this one over here. Now, if you break that down or bring that down further into which estates are available that are connected to a Genesis Plaza that have a lot of district activity close by, and those districts are quite popular. You can see this one is Fashion Street. Um, this one is Central Business District. I think this one is VR Reality Shopping. So it's kind of like a shopping hub type Genesis Plaza, right? So these three pixels for someone that owns, um, like a company that owns, say, uh, like an e-com store or something and wants to build their e-com store virtual and really believes in Decentraland, might be earning a lot more money in the real world where this three by three, you know, pumping 1.6 million mana, which at this current rate is about 80,000 US dollars, pumping that kind of money into virtual land for him might seem like it's worth it and in my opinion as an estate that's connected to a genesis plaza is really really rare especially one connected to a lot of district activity and if you look around and we compare the nine genesis plazas around that are available for sale let's do that right now okay i want you guys to compare or look out for the pixels that are for sale that are connected to those Genesis plazas. So for example, this pixel, uh, this land here, 1.7 million mana, right? Way too expensive, 1.7 million mana for one pixel so, or one land. Um, this is 30 by 30 meters in land and um, the build height increases a lot more. Obviously it's got these four as well. Um, you've got this estate, which probably is the only other estate it's not for sale though, right? It's not for sale though. So well, let's look at ones that are only for sale. So you've got, like I said, you've got these two connected to this Genesis Plaza and we'll look at the other nine, excluding the one in the middle, okay? We're not gonna include the center Genesis Plaza because that's kind of its own beast. So for this one, there's no um, parcels at all for sale, right guys? Connected to um, this Genesis Plaza. What else we have? Um, We've got this one here, which I think is the North Genesis Plaza. None for sale there as well. Um, this, oh, that's the center one. What else we got? Yep, I think I am a bit lost. Oh no, that is the top one. So there's none for sale there. None for sale on this one, at the top, top right. None for sale connected to that Genesis Plaza. Um, I think there may be one for sale here. No, none for sale connected to that Genesis Plaza. And at the bottom three Genesis Plazas, there's not much district activity going on around them. There's only this one. Um, there's only one for sale. Let's see how much that one's priced at. 90,000 mana. Definitely a lot more affordable. But look, there's only one district here, right? And that's Dragon City. Predominantly a Chinese district. So if you're looking for like buyer seller activity, you know, fashion street kind of stuff, um, rea virtual reality shopping, then you're far away from the district that you want to be close to. So there's one for sale there for 90,000. South Genesis Plaza has a few for sale that are a lot more affordable, like this one. Oh, let's see, let's zoom in here. That one's 120,000 mana. This one's 120,000 mana. Oh, 80,000 mana. What's this one? 59,000 mana, definitely a lot more affordable here. 950,000, okay, that's way overpriced. What's this one here? 100,000 mana. Yes, individual parcels connected to Genesis Plaza are a lot cheaper, but the buyer here might be looking for an estate, right? There's a lot more benefit in buying an estate. Again, no gen no um, parcels for sale connected to this Genesis Plaza. So you don't really have many options. and. Estates connected to a Genesis Plaza are really rare, especially ones connected to districts 
um, focused on shopping. So this person here got himself an estate. Yes, I'm not going to say that he bought it at a good deal. I don't think he got a good deal. But he's got something that is insanely more valuable than any other um, kind of property around it. Because one, it's connected to Genesis Plaza. Two, it's connected to other districts. Three, it's an estate. And again, connected parcels have a, a way more advantage. As um, a lot of the investors know, that adjacent parcels, the more parcels you have connected to each other, the higher you can build. So if you only have one parcel, I think you can build like 20 meters high. If you have nine or 10 parcels, um, I think you can build like 40 to 50 meters high, right? So there's a lot more benefit in having like um, your own little estate over here. Pretty much this guy's bought himself his own little, um, not estate, sorry, his own little district. So again, couple that with mana being really, really low. And again, guys, like Decentraland is available for all investors globally. It's not just a real estate landscape where it's just a local you know, it's only available in one country. You're going, you're getting people from America, China, Korea, Australia. I'm from Australia and I've put like, God, I don't know, hundreds of thousands of US dollars into my lands, buying and selling. Like I have invested a lot of money into this, guys. There's other people out there where money for them, it may seem ridiculously valuable for us. Like there's a lot of investors that won't spend more than say 500 US dollars for a parcel or look at that being the bottom parcel and being like, whoa, that's way too expensive for a little pixel 10 by 10 meter, you know, land in a world where that hasn't even, that you can't even explore yet. But other people will look at it and be like, hmm, okay, that estate I can pick up for $20,000. Sure, I'll do that. Because they've got money, guys. Like these guys are millionaires. Some of them are like 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 million dollars rich. And they're coming from all parts of the world. So there's traffic. This is open to so many more people than what real estate, you know, like crypto is available to everyone, right? So you have to think relative to other people. What's expensive to us may not be expensive to them and vice versa, right? <clears throat> so it's just a few quick comments. And yes, I am surprised at the amount paid for this set of lands, but I'm not surprised at the fact that we're getting parcels being a lot more valuable when connected to estates, guys. They are, they are a lot more valuable when connected to estates. And I think we're going to see that connect parcels connected to estates are going to sell for a lot more than just individual parcels because you're going to get new investors looking at these and being like, wow, I can own this whole thing and comparing it to something like, um, you know, a parcel that's connected to, say, um, Genesis Plaza. So, for example, if this guy, if this estate's for sale for, say, a million mana, right, a ridiculous amount of price and a new investor compares that to something like this what's that eight million mana okay something more affordable what's this one for 10 million mana okay do we have one million mana parcel here nope um all right what about this one all right so five hundred thousand mana right for this little pixel here so people are going to be like all right i can get one pixel or one land close to genesis plaza or I could get this ridiculously big parcel of land connected to a lot of activity. I can build way higher for, you know, a million mana or however much the guy wants to sell it for. And you're going to, comp now that I, I feel like a lot of these central individual parcels are going to get a lot less valuable or sold for a lot less because new investors definitely would be looking at estates, bigger parcels, a lot more money going in. I have an estate um, up here. Where is it? I'll show you guys. I have a lot of faith in this estate. This bad boy right here. It is at the edge of the world, but it's close to a couple of districts, right? Like we have DCL, DCL University. Um, we have um, Ethereum project. We have a lot of vacant land, actually. Which I don't really know is a good thing or a bad thing. At the end of the day, like this is an estate and I was actually individually going to, I was going to price this estate, this 21 piece estate. I was going to price it at somewhere like 200,000 mana, but I, I bought this estate for 140,000 mana, right? And I was thinking of selling it for 200,000 mana, getting a quick flip. But now looking at how much estates might be valued at, I might actually try and sell it for 400 to 500,000 mana. And I've also got this property over here 
which is pretty damn good. Like that's an estate that's quite close to Genesis Plaza. And I paid, I think, 190,000 mana for that. And I'm going to try to sell it for, again, three to 400,000 mana. And my perception of estates selling for a lot more than individual parcels is becoming more and more clear to me. So it's going to be interesting when we can actually buy and sell estates to see what happens. But yeah, guys, just a few comments on why those parcels would have sold for that crazy amount of mana. Again, you're going to see that a lot more often. You can price your parcels really high and hope for a whale to come in like that. But you have to have something unique. So rarity, rare parcels, scarcity is very unique. For example, um, um, I'll go through another one example that I'm going to end the video. It's a pretty big video. <clears throat> we have this parcel here, right? Minus 150, minus 150. Do you know how much was spent? 177,000 mana was spent on auction for this parcel. That means a ton of people battle it out for this one little parcel. Why? Because it's right in the corner. And guess what? There's only two types of these parcels or lands. In all of Decentraland, the top corners are covered by districts of Vegas City and Decentraland. Oh, sorry, Ethereum. The bottom two corners are the only corners available in all of Decentraland. And it's funny because we usually think that at the edges of the world, or the, far, the further out you go, the, the more cheaper land is going to be. But these specific two pieces, so this one and the one on the far right, were, were sold for like... 180, 190, I think, let's see how much this was sold for. This one was connected to a road, I think. Okay, keep going, keep going. All right, so this corner was sold for 122,000 mana, right? So people would be like, why the heck did someone spend so much mana on those parcels? At the end of the day, it's rare parcels. And again, like, it's demand and supply. Um, there's only going to be a handful of estates, and with every estate bought, it's usually going to, you know, um, remove that estate from supply. And eventually, it's going to be very difficult to get your hands on parcels that are connected to each other. If Decentraland kind of um, blows up and gets really, really popular. Anyway, just some comments. I hope you guys find that useful. I'm going to keep pumping these videos. It's the first, maybe second time I'm actually making this video from a recording on my phone. <clears throat> it's a screencast from my phone, my new Samsung Galaxy S9, not Galaxy, sorry, Samsung S9, and um, it's just really, really cool what I can do with this phone. Anyway, hope you guys enjoy this, give it a share, like, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and follow me on Twitter, guys. I always tweet about what's going on with Decentral and what's going on with crypto collectibles. I love investing into things where I can buy, sell, flip, um, kind of explore the financial economic landscape. And um, it's just crazy to me with these opportunities coming up. Anyway, enjoy.